Or here at 632, our breaking news from overnight, a fire burned through a second floor apartment, sent people running to the windows for help a floor above. WCPO 9 News is Allie Kramer is live for us in Newport. This is a pretty incredible tale coming from somebody who was inside this building as the fire started, Allie. Yeah, this is wild. A guy tells me that he was in his apartment on the second floor and he heard the fire alarms going off. So he says he got up, he went to the hallway and, and heard him and he thought, well, that's weird. Where's the fire coming from? Went back into his apartment and he saw sort of a glowing light coming from his roommate's bedroom door, which was closed at the time. He says he opened that door and was immediately hit by just those heavy flames and the heavy smoke. He says it is unlike anything he has ever seen or been through. And that's when he says he went running back into the hallway to scream to the neighbors. Hey, look, this is real. This is real. There is a fire in my apartment. Everyone has to get out. He also told us that it was incredible watching firefighters put a ladder up to the third floor. He said there was literally fire flames coming at the firefighters as they're rescuing six people. We're told three adults and three children were pulled from a third story apartment built uh, apartment unit. Uh, and you know what? That man who lives in the, in the unit where it started, he also says he saw them pull a dog out and bring the dog down the ladder. He said it was just the bravest thing he's ever seen. And it's really interesting getting his perspective as well as from the assistant fire chief who says, look, no one was seriously injured in this. Nobody had to be transported to area hospitals. They were able to get it under control and get everybody out. At least four units were damaged by the fire and uh, they'll continue their investigation to determine exactly what caused it. The man who lives in that unit believes that his roommate left a candle burning when he went to work in the overnight hours. But again, a fire investigator will be the one to determine that exact cause. The Red Cross for now is assisting those who were not able to get back in the building. For now, reporting live in Newport, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. That information giving them a good place to start from as well. Uh, Allie, thank you for that.